So what we saw today, we saw an overview of the STM32 Cube ecosystem portfolio by Paolo this morning. We understood different ecosystem component for all application development. We saw an introduction and a practical usage of the Azure Ertos component thanks to the STM32 Cube ecosystem. You know, CubeMX, Cube IDE, and all of them are linked, strongly linked with the Xcube Azure Ertos package. Now we expect that you should be able to move forward with your uh, next project. You can for sure start from the project that we built today together. You can for sure use one of the examples that are provided inside the uh, Xcube Azure Ertos H7 or the other family that are uh, currently supporting by native way like the U5 or by Xcube packages like the L4, the F4 and so on. Some useful link in this chart on the ecosystem with st.com about the ecosystem, st.com about the Xcube Azure Artos H7, but you can browse also the other Xcube for the other families. You have the link both to the community if you have any doubt, comment uh, about this Xcube, about the STM32, generally speaking, you can use the ST community. We kindly ask you to use the ST community because it's very useful, especially at the beginning. And the link to the YouTube learning portal where you can find a lot of video, a lot of MOOC explaining all of the feature for the H7, but also for the other families. So both the hardware and the software, you can find the video for almost every feature you have in mind. Thank you all for joining.